हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेवियर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सम नंबर 7 ऑफ द एक्सरसाइज 8.3 ओके दिस इज द पार्ट 2 वीडियो फ्रॉम दिस एक्सरसाइज फॉर द प्रीवियस वन प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स द लिंक विल बी देयर सो हियर इन सम नंबर 7 42 मीटर्स ऑफ क्लॉथ इज रिक्वायर्ड to make 20 shirts of the same size. How much cloth will be required to make 36 shirts of the size? Okay, this means that 42 meter cloth for who? For 20 shirts. So, here we will write 20 shirts okay, for 20 shirts we required. Okay? We required here 42 meter of cloths. Next, for one shirt, we required here 42 by 20 meter of cloth, and for 36 shirts, we required here 42 by 20 into 36 meter. So, here 210. 218 so it's 5 here in 9 now as here 42 into 9 that one equal to here you can write down 378 by 5 okay so that one equal to here 75.6 meter as your answer now next some number 8 cost of 5 kg of rice is 107.50 so first write down here cost of 5 kg of rice is rupees 107.50 so here the first one then cost of 1 kg of rice is you know that here 10750 by 5 and here cost of 8 kg Okay, 8 kg of rice that will equal to here 107.50 into 8 divided by here 5. Clear? So, if we have a point, so here we have a point, we have two numbers, we have two digits, we have 100. Hoga. Okay, now here 0 and 0 cancel out. So, as here 1075, okay, divided by 5. So it becomes here 215. अब देखिए ऊपर में है 215 into 8. अगर 8 से multiply करेंगे तो वहाँ पर होगा 1720. और नीचे में तो क्या है? नीचे 10 है. अब 00 cancel out हो जाएगा. So rupees 172 as your first answer. Clear? Now the next one. Here in part two, what quantity of rice can be purchased in 64 0.5. अब यहाँ पर हम क्या करेंगे? इसको घुमा के लिखेंगे. In rupees, so write down in rupees 107.50, we get 5 kg of rice. Okay? Then in rupees 1, we get definitely यहाँ पर divide होगा. So 10.50 kg of rice. अब यहाँ पर required क्या है? Required है rupees 64.5. Okay, so we get अब यहाँ पर multiply होगा, so 64.5 और यहाँ पर है 107.50. अब देखिए यहाँ पर 0 0.50 दो digit है, इसका मतलब ऊपर में 100 होगा, यहाँ पर सिर्फ 0.5 है, एक digit, so नीचे 10 होगा. Clear? अब यहाँ पर 0 0 और दूसरा 0 cancel out. Now next as here 1075 divided by 5 अगर 5 से इसको काटेंगे यहां पर हो जाएगा 215 ओके okay? इसका मतलब ऊपर में है आपके पास 645 नीचे है 125 अब फिर से इसे 5 से काटेंगे सो so 43 हो जाएगा और 645 इसको 5 से डिवाइड करेंगे तो यहां पर होगा 129 क्लियर अब 129 को हम 43 से डिवाइड करेंगे सो दैट इक्वल टू हियर 3 that means here 3 kg as the second answer. Clear? Now, let's move on to the next problem. 
that is sum number 9 20 tons of iron cost rupees 6 lakh okay so as here 1 ton equal to 1000 kg it's given so that means here 20 tons equal to here 20000 kg okay so first write down here 20000 kg okay of iron cost of cost rupees here 6 lakh okay to 1 2 3 total 5 zeros now 1 kg of iron cost rupees 6 1 2 3 4 5 divided by here 1 2 3 4 okay and the next one here 560 kg of iron cost rupees so as here 6 1 2 3 4 5 here 1 2 3 4 into 560 so 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 cancel out and here 2 cancel out 60 it becomes 30 that means here rupees so first you have to multiply 56 into 3 that one equal to here 168 and then write down two zeros so your answer 16800 now next one sum number 10 so here in sum number 10 cost of four dozen bananas is rupees 180 how many bananas can be purchased for rupees 37.50 so as you know that one dozen equal to 12 so here four dozens that means here equal to 4 into 12 that is 48 okay so that means here you write down in in rupees 180 we get or we purchase you can write down we get here total 48 bananas okay then here in rupees 1 we get 48 by 180 bananas and here the required is in rupees 37.50 so as here 48 by 180 into here 37.50 so point ke baad do digit hai agar point ko utha denge yaha par 100 ho jayega clear so 00, zero cancel out ho gaya ab yaha par dekhiye 375 so 375 ko agar 5 se divide karenge to yaha par aa jayega 75 aur 510 ko 5 se karenge 2 2 ko 48 se karenge it will be here 224 up next yaha par 75 hai aur niche 180 hai 180 ko 5 se karenge ho jayega 36 75 ko agar 5 se karenge ho jayega 15 clear up 3 se isko karenge 3 1 3 2 3 5 za 15 up 12 se ko kaatenge it's 2 so 5 2 za 10 iska matlab 10 bananas now next one sum number 11 Aman purchases 12 pens for rupees 156. Pius buys 9 pens for rupees 108. Can you say who got the pen cheaper? So, this means that the first one who is the Aman, who is the twin pen, and the other one is the nine pen. So, this means that the two of them are the same. The first one is the Aman, 12 pen, and the other one is the nine pen. इसका मतलब मुझे पहले क्या करना होगा मुझे पहले दोनों को एक ही बेस में लाना होगा इसका मतलब मैं यहां से निकालूंगा एक पेन का कॉस्ट कितना है ओके अमन का एक पेन का कॉस्ट कितना है और पीयूष का एक पेन का कॉस्ट कितना है सो यहां पर लिखेंगे अमन के लिए अमन परचेसेस ओके अमन परचेसेस 9 सॉरी इट्स 12 पेन्स नॉट द 9 वन 9 वन फॉर द सेकंड वन so 12 pens for rupees 156 then aman purchases one pen for rupees here 156 by 12 okay so 156 by 12 that will equal to here rupees 13 now for the next one pews so here pews buys nine pens for rupees 108 so pius buys one pen for rupees 108 by 9 okay so 108 by 9 
that equal to here rupees 12. So Aman ka ek pen ka cost hai rupees 13 or Pius ka ek pen ka cost hai rupees 12. So which one is cheaper? Definitely Pius. So your answer is the second one that means Pius. Now sum number 12. This is the last sum for this video. So guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel. So here Rohit made 42 runs in 6 over. Virat made 63 runs in 7 over. अलग अलग है दोनों का. पहले का 6 over, दूसरे का 7 over. इसका मतलब दोनों को ही एक over में convert करना होगा. So write down here in 6 overs, Rohit made 42 runs. Okay? Then here in 1 over, Rohit made 42 by 6 that means here 7 runs now next one here in 7 overs Virat Virat made 63 runs okay so here in 1 over Virat made 63 by 7 that equal to here 9 runs so who made more runs Par over. Par over means 1 over. So definitely here Virat is your answer.